Hey guys, Michael at Chuck's Trucks. Today we're continuing our upgrades on this 50 Ford F-150. Uh, so far we've done an air raid cold air intake system on it. And next up is going to be a Borla attack exhaust system. This is going to be my first attack exhaust system that I've done, so I'm pretty interested in seeing how it goes on. If it's anything like the rest of their kits, it's a pretty straightforward install. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Okay, so we're under our truck. I like to go ahead and jack jack the truck up just so I can get a little bit more room to work with. I know that all you guys at home, you're not going to have uh, lifts in your shop. So that's why we do these things on the floor. Just show you what it's like to do it at home. Your best bet, go ahead and start hitting everything that you're going to be taking off with a little bit of penetrating spray. Uh, WD-40 works. That's going to be step number one. All right, once you've got all your bolts lubricated, your hangers too, you're going to need a uh, 14 millimeter socket. And we're just going to pop these guys loose here. Go ahead and start making your way back and loosening everything else up. All right, so basically what I did is I took the assembly, loosened it up in the front, and then released it from this second hanger down, or actually the first hanger down, and that way it gave us a little bit of drop. Uh, what we're going to do is rotate this assembly to the side, and it's got a little holding pin, so it's nice to get a little spray on it and see if you can get this entire assembly to shift over towards the passenger side, like so. Once it shifts over, it frees itself away from this pin, and then you can just knock it forward. After you do that, the factory exhaust system slips right out. Alright, so with your factory exhaust system loose and hanging, it takes a little finagling, but you'll get it out. This is also a point where having the truck up on jack stands isn't a bad idea. Alright, so as you can see behind me, what I've done is I went ahead and unpackaged everything. I've checked on my instruction sheet under the part number that we're installing. They've got several different applications that these exhaust systems go on. So what you do is you find your proper application. They'll give you the layout of how it's supposed to install. Now at that point, you go ahead and take everything and you lay it out. What this does is it makes sure that A, you got the right bed length and right cab length exhaust system. Uh, ran into that before and B, it helps you double check to make sure that you've got all the parts that were necessary in the install. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move on to step one of installing, which that's on your back page, and we're just going to work from the front to the back. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our connecting pipe, like so, and we're going to go ahead and attach it to the flange right here. All right, so what you'll do at this point is go ahead and take your clamp, and you probably want to have it facing down because it's easier to get to that way once you tighten up. Slide it up there a little bit so it's out of the way. And then you're going to take this pipe here, like so, and go ahead and slip it into the exhaust hanger. And you'll slip that guy. And you'll want to make sure that you slip it far enough to where there's a little slat right here that you can see the pipe that's inserting to here. That there's no kind of uh, uh, open area from this pipe into this pipe. You want to make sure it's completely closed. Once you get that done, you just slide your clamp down to this area. We're not going to tighten anything yet. We've still got a couple of more things to assemble. Okay, so now we've slipped our muffler over the axle here, and we've got one more uh, hanger back here that this guy is going to pop right into. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our muffler on. So again, we're just going to take this clamp, slide it over, and that one's on now. So again, Keep it loose for now. We're going to tighten everything from front to back after we get it fully assembled. The next step in our install is loosen the nut on the back side of this uh, shackle hanger, and that'll give us the ability to install our, our hanger for the exhaust.
Okay, so the next step with any exhaust install, especially a dual exhaust, is making sure that before you go and tighten everything up, that it just sort of looks like everything's sort of in place. So what we'll do is we'll actually start at the front, move backwards. Now if you notice, I've taken a couple of rolls of tape and stuck them in between the bumper and the uh, exhaust tips. What this will do is it'll sort of help us with our spacing and at the same time, it'll protect the exhaust clip or the exhaust tip and the bumper from damaging each other. So we'll go ahead and tighten everything front back. As we get closer to the back, uh, we want to make sure to get out from underneath the vehicle, double check everything, make sure we're still sitting right. Okay, so while you're doing the test fire, uh, what you want to check for is get out of the vehicle, get underneath, uh, see if you can hear any kind of exhaust leaks or anything, uh, try to button those up as fast as you can, and then uh, double check all your fittings just to make sure they're tight. Uh, truck sounds amazing. It's a huge difference from whenever we did the first test fire and then the final test fire. Really aggressive sound. Uh, it sounds awesome when it's under load as well. Uh, Borla exhaust, we love installing them. We like for you to have them. Uh, check them out at www.chuckstrucks.com. If you need any help with, this, with the install, um, assistance on picking out the right system, feel free to email us anytime. And again, thanks for watching.